So, hello and welcome to this Clear Technologies video. My name is Thomas Heinrich and in this video I show you how to use and combine these HUD elements we created for you. Okay, let's start with this preset scene. We have seen different preset scene in which one you can see how to combine some of these elements. Okay, in this case we have here some elements. I start from top to the bottom. For the first step I use a background. We have around six different backgrounds. You can find them in the repository here under backgrounds. So these backgrounds are customizable. So you can see you can change the color, you can change the transparency and when you go inside of this container you have uh, the full access to all the parameters. The next step is here the bars Again, we have here some exposed parameters like the size, the position, some colors and alpha. These are for the points, the tiny points here. The polygon. So you can change the style when you adjust the colors and the transparency of different elements. So the text color wireframe and so on and again when you go inside you have full access to all all elements okay next we have the chart here this one here we have some more parameters I exposed for you so you can see it closer you can adjust the line color of the wireframe so alpha of the points the size of the points in the case of you see when you scale them down you have to adjust the size of the points the background so See now I change them to yellow, blue, and we can adjust the speed of some elements. Now they e a lot of they have more speed now, and here you can see they're really slow. So sometimes when you get, you like to have s more random, just adjust the speed of some elements to get more variations. Okay, then we have this counter. Ah, oh, this is uh, this one. And again, when you go inside, you have access to all elements. Okay, if you like to load uh, another scene or a preset, just load a VZA when to import, or you load in repository like I did here before. Okay, in the repository, you find in the preset section three different kind of adjustments how you can combine the elements here we have some other stuff in the background again another background with different settings again some bars same elements like before but with some variations and here some planet elements inside the center this case this one here and you have the full flexibility to adjust everything nothing is blocked nothing is sealed so you have the full access to all elements so you can see how we get this smooth into the scene and with some different parameters here inside okay just another one Number three, 
it again. Here we have an earth. And let me see the earth. This one. In some cases it makes sense to make um, a Z node, Z testing in front. So you can see here, you can move them up and down to test how they should behave in the scene, but sometimes you need a C sorting. You see in this case I switch it on and off and then you see the elements behind. Yeah. This makes sense sometimes when you work with transparent stuff or different kind of sorting in the Z axis. Okay, next we have all these elements here, you s all elements you see here, we have uh, s single elements in the module section. So when I plug something inside like this one, just a straightforward animation. In this case, you can change the animation how like you want here. Here are some animations for the moving stuff. You can adjust the speed. In this case, it's quicker, you see. In this case, we like to have this quicker. I really like to change the background stuff, the elements. See again, it's quicker. Some values are exposed, not all. So in this case, we, it's just the size, the position, and then you have to go inside the container. And here's the, the globe. Some line connectors. And when you go into the triangle, here you see the points, the individual points. You see the lines are connected. So you can adjust some positions or you, if you like you can animate this. Like here I did before, I animate the positions. Make a play out out of it here. When you place, want to have this quicker, you see. Okay, next one. This is just the space scene. And in this case, if you like to have an animation, just kill the mover. and touch orbit here in front and then you have the possibility to turn this around. Okay the next one is the counter. Here again zoom in, position, brightness of the points, the polygons, the text colors, the box colors, and the center. And another counter. Nearly the same, but some different effects. Again, I don't have to show you all the parameters. You have to try, and if you like to customize, just go inside, block some stuff, or do whatever you like. To in this case, here's a stencil to block the elements out of the ring. So the hut connector. This is quite nice because you can arrange the position of each element. Here we have the turn, you can delete the mover. And if you like, you can adjust the rotation by hand. scaling and so on. Each point has three dimensions. Here you can define the scale of the points, how many points you had like to have, or you can each can block some parts. Again you can block all the line connections. So you have only the main lines between these elements. You can adjust the glow color alpha, scale. You 
can switch on some different elements. Okay, the next one is the chart. Here you see the points, the size of the points need to be adjusted. In some cases they are too big, so you have to arrange this. This is done with a sprite node. You can do random FX in the background. You can change the color if you like. To get more variations. And the speed. Yeah, and again you go inside and you can block all elements close the chart itself so the bars are the last module in this section so these are quite random but you have here again full access to all the parameters the important things are exposed Inside are the animations, bars, the different render versions like points, wire, and normal, and the text. So now we go to the interactive part. Here are some demos done with the same elements but a bit different. So in this case, we have this line connector here, you can move the points around like you prefer, or you, know, you reset them and then they go back to the source position. Okay, the next element is this engine. And again here you can scale this element. See it's really detailed. You can go really close on this element and still the performance is quite good so inside this container again the touch rotation you can define this by hand or just here easier to navigate and the elements are here inside some lightning and if you like you can change the mesh and all that elements are Complete adjusted. Just reload the mesh on this individual element, and that's it. So here you see some points, and all the shading is automatic done. So the next one are the grids. Here again, some interactivity to move the points around, reset them, see how they behave. So yeah, they are locked to a range. This go can go outside, it's more inside. The next one are the planets, just simple rotation like I showed before. Again here you see the background and the elements inside are just planets center the different elements star map so the last one is the main world again with a simple touch rotation in this case we put a glow above it Okay, the simple text, the background again. Do the same like before. If you like to change the background here, it's, it's nearly the same mesh, but you have different subsets, so you can choose between different subsets to get another uh, different look. See, this is how they look. Or you can activate all together. the world 
code is here. In this case it's funny because here are different colors to get a chromatic aberration effect. So you have you can change the colors to get a more organic style. You see the difference in the colors. And it's quite fast to see the performance. Just at 4K I think you will not have some problems with the styles. This depends how many elements you put on screen, but in the most of case you have enough power to display some of them. Okay, that's it. I hope you liked this video and you liked this hot kit for your presentation. Feel free to browse inside the containers, adjust the elements and create nice new looking presentations out of it. Okay, be creative and goodbye.